Hey, how's it going everyone? Thank you for blessing me with the opportunity to talk about astrology, for being inspiring. Hope you're having a great morning so far. I know mine is. I'm, I'm a, I have a lot of stuff planned for today and I'm super grateful to be here. So today we're talking about Scorpio. So I'm going to take out my notes and we're going to get in that. Thank you guys once again. Darkness becoming light. How does that happen through Scorpio? Before I get into that, I want to mention this quote by Aristotle. Because he's a badass. And he's a philosopher of his time. And they're a big deal. Even though he's gone, and he's been gone for a millennia. Still pretty lit. Perspectives. And there's a reason for that. It is during our darkest moments that we must focus to see the light. During our darkest moments. During the scariest times. That's when you're able to focus. And then see the true perspective. And really be empowered. What's the darkest moment that you've had to face in your life that changed it forever? It made you who you are. That's the question we ask ourselves during full moon and Scorpio. To transmute that energy. To do something awesome. And three takeaways. The first one is face your shadow self to transmute it. You're, everyone has it. Everyone has characteristics that they have that they don't like. Characteristics that scare them. But the key thing is, they're just characteristics. And you're ultimately not human. You're ultimately an alien. All of us are. We came from spirit. Spirit did not reside on earth. Spirit resides in everything. So you can take that with whatever you will. And just use it to become more of who you want to be. Because whoever you want to be is where you should be, <laughs> where you need to be. Take that, become you, share you with everyone, express you-ness, your unity. However, however that expresses itself through your existence. Everyone's is different. Maybe uh, someone could post a comment in below because they're expressing themselves in an ultimate fashion, possibly. You never know. Secondly, when we were all born, the first thing that we ever saw is the darkness of our mother's wombs. That's the first thing any human has ever seen when they were first born. So take that under consideration and tell yourself, what are these thoughts in my head? Because that's what you originally had, right? Originally you only had your thoughts. So what are these thoughts in your head? How do you use these thoughts? Because that's all you had before, right? You're in your mom's womb, growing exponentially. You're growing limbs. You, you don't do that. You only do that one time, and during that stage, you're ultimately thinking and listening. We have two ears and one mouth for a reason. Close your mouth more. Use your ears more. You're inside your mom's womb. Your mom's talking to people, becoming inspired by people. You feel that inspiration. And then you come outside of your mom. You see the light. And what do you do? What's the first thing you do? You take all those sounds that you heard inside of your mom and you start using them all at once. 
Go inside. Look at who you are. And express yourself individually now. Because we've already expressed ourselves all at once. With screaming. As scary as it is. Just to scream. I literally woke up this morning. Screaming. Because I had a nightmare, right? Scorpio moon. Scorpio moon energy. It's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine to have nightmares. But the, the most important thing to do with those nightmares is create a world around you that makes you happy. Because the worst thing has already happened. It's already happened up here in your dreams. So go create the best thing. Why not? There's nothing stopping us. There's nothing stopping you or me. And so through emotional pressure, through emotional pressure, all of us become like diamonds. Through facing our fears, through going to the darkest point in our life. Through facing our fears, through going to the darkest point in our lives. Through suffering. Through being lonely. Through suffering, we become strong. Because how many times can you go through the same struggle? How many times can you have the same nightmare and feel the same way? <laughs> Groundhog Day is a, was a really good movie because the guy kept waking up into the same day. And eventually, the day just didn't have effect on him. And so he just starts doing all these awesome things for people and changes his paradigm. And once his paradigm changes, the movie ends. <laughs> so change your paradigm before the movie ends, guys. <laughs> and really have fun with this. And thank you. And you guys stay blessed and have a great rest of your day.